Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys enjoy the video today. And today we're going to go through the Warriors game over the weekend, 34-4 against the South Sydney Rabbitohs and really touch base with all you guys here on my channel and my community. If you have not gone, check it out. Also guys, you do know that uh, myself, I've been jumping on Waz Up TV, amazing channel by Levon. Go support the bro. Like I'm going to be doing a lot more of my Warriors content and all that on that channel. And if you want more of a deep dive, like a really deep, deep, deep dive into that game over the weekend, way too many deeps there. Uh, go check it out on Waz up TV. We did the uh, all full credit to the boys. An amazing show that we do after every game and a post-match sort of review on how the Warriors are tracking and all that. And obviously, it was a massive celebration over the weekend there. So go check it out. An amazing episode. Uh, one of my favorites overall because I was at the, actually at the helm for a little bit there before Levon came over and saved me from you know everything. But an amazing channel. We bounce off each other really, really well. So I really want you guys to go check that out. If you aren't already a fan of that channel, uh, go check that out because a lot more of my Warriors content will be on this channel. But obviously the massive win over the weekend against the South City Rabbitohs, just really, really incredible from the boys. And I really want to touch on where we are at, as a club and really how I feel about it. You're probably going to hear me talk about this a lot during the year and all that sort of stuff, the way, how positive uh, everything is looking at the Warriors at the moment. And it's really crazy to see, you know, there's been years of past where it's, it's struggled to really look at a squad and be like, well, this is our year. You know what I mean? Like we say it all the time, but we always have that hope in the back, like everything kind of crumbles somewhere. And it's, this is a finally the first time in a couple of years where, you know, back-to-back -back seasons, we are really on an upwards trend. Everything's going really, really well. You know, our depth is on a whole different level. And it really showed out in this game today, 34 to four against a top team that still is struggling at the moment. And they're missing a couple of key players as well. But, you know, a team that we have struggled to beat in the last couple of years, we've beat them once in the last like 10, you know, games that we've had against the Rabbitohs or whatever the stat was before this game. And they've put some pretty decent score lines on us in the past. And it's especially with boys like Latrell, Mitchell, Cody Walker, Cam Murray, Damian Cook, all playing in this game here, and we still put a decent scoreline on them. So before I touch on my Warriors as well, guys, I will touch on a little bit of the Rabbitohs and my thoughts there. So quickly on the Rabbitohs, I honestly think that maybe our game plan really put a lot of pressure on the, a lot of those key players there. And a couple of them, as we all know, you know, Latrell Mitchell and Cody Walker, that kind of do struggle sometimes when there's a lot of pressure on them, and they kind of, they're very competitive players. You see that in the way they play. Latrell had a couple of brain snaps and all that in this game. You know, Cody Walker couldn't really get control of this game either. And then really, this is what sort of happens. I felt like very early on in this game, I thought the Rabbits came out very physical and I thought they were going to really take it to us, you know, getting out to a 4-0 lead uh, with a beautiful sidestep from Isaac Thompson on um, Chance Nickel Clockstack. Obviously, we saw, the, you know, the, the field give way under Chance's feet there, but, you know, just amazing work from uh, Thompson, especially on a beautiful backline shift that Latrell put him out in that uh, out that sideline there. So very, very good start for the Rabbitohs. I felt like their middles actually held up very, very well physically. I always feel like Totola has amazing games against the Warriors and, like, he came out and was really really showing out pretty early on in this game. But there was a massive turning point as soon as we got down there and we had a little bit of opportunity. We struck with our first opportunity on their line with Rocco Berry going over, scoring a beautiful try uh, on that edge there. Just runs an amazing line and that's where it all started from. So a lot of this game to start off with, I think a good first 10 to 15 uh, felt like a bit of an arm wrestle. We had two tries in there, but after that, it felt like we got back into an arm wrestle in this game. Um, I felt like, you know, the Rabbitohs definitely had a couple more errors in them, especially coming up towards the end of this half. But then the boys really struck when the forwards started to get tied from the middle. And this is when one of our big key players of the season, Wade Egan, came in and had a absolute ball through the middle. Incredible game from him. He was absolutely unbelievable through the middle. His ruck deception, just some of the plays he throws up left, right, and center. Just the way he looks one way goes the other, really splits the markers. Every time one mark is down, he'll go up, make a run. Uh, the actual try a little bit later on in the game, I think it was Shawnee's second try where he actually got through the line, put a nice offload to Tamade, obviously giving it off to Sean Johnson. Just like some really, really beautiful players, especially, you know, a lot of our attacking footy, our best attacking footy actually comes from further out in the field, maybe within those 40-40s, uh, comparatively to a lot of our attack on their try line. But I felt like we had a really nice mix between the two in this game where we had tries like Roger to have us a Check. Tamade Martin getting over for his own try later on in the game and the Jackson Ford try there as well. So really, really, really solid performance. But we've been waiting for this 80 minute performance for so long. Shout out to Sean Johnson as well. Two tries, two try assists. Incredible performance from him as well. Uh, hopefully would have picked up a decent amount of daily M points in this one and really get on track to get daily M opportunity this year and hopefully come home with it this year. Who knows? But when we got players like Roger Tuovasa Shek and all that back in our squad, it's going to be really, really tough. And I'm sure Wade Egan's actually picking up a couple of points here. So I think 
think he's very much the key to our squad at the moment, especially running into this year. The more that Wade Egan plays, the, the longer minutes, the less he has these injuries that are in his game, the head knocks and stuff like that. We are on track to actually build something really, really special. And I think the key thing that got brought up a lot in our um, live stream that we had uh, with full credit for the boys on Wise Up TV, a lot of it got brought up about how we usually in years past, man, like, and I don't mean to really touch on this as like a Warriors fan and that because we've had a, a couple of amazing years in past years and all that, but there's always been the Warriors thing of like, you know, we'd have score two tries, get three or four tries get put against us. And like, it, it was back and forth, would lose a game plan. Back in the day, Shawnee used to try to do it all himself because he didn't really have a lot of go for Stuff wasn't really happening around him. But there's been multiple times this year where that old Shaw Johnson could have done that, but I feel like he's matured so much, but he also trusts the team that he's got around him that he knows if we keep working this game plan, we're going to come out with the chockies. And I think the last player I really want to touch on with this one is going to prove that sort of uh, know-how about really what's really going on with this game here. And it's Rocco Berry and just the effort that he puts into his kick chase, his defense, uh, all the basics of the game. He's really growing into something really, really special. So I really want to hear what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Is Rocco Berry maybe a chance of the Kiwi squad, especially with Joey Manu leaves? Like, is he definitely a chance to get into that center role there overall? Or, you know, where could Rocco Berry land, like, for us all time? Like, I know it's really, really early on. I don't want to put a lot of pressure on him in that. But especially for a kid that's growing uh, in the game and he's really focusing on all the one percenters, I think he's knocking it out of the park at the moment. And if you checked out a lot of his stuff in Queensland Cup when he was playing for the Dolphins, uh, when he played Kiwi A's and stuff, you see the attacking upside in those sort of games. And I believe that will come out later on. We kind of touched on Mia Levon in full, uh, full credit to the boys is, you know, a lot of like the best skills, you know, it all comes from just a beautiful base. Like you build an amazing base and then you flourish at the end of that. You know, you when you ride a bike, you ride a bike starting off with the training wheels, you get the basics right. And then you could become a BMX rider later on, you know what I mean? Like, but you've got to learn the basics first and you've got to do them really well to become a BMX rider, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many different ways you can look at it. Like, jujitsu is another one, you know, you go in there, you learn your defenses, your simple things, you get out of certain things on, on your back and that. And then when you get to your blue belt, purple belt, brown belt, black belt, that's when you start really implementing a game and put flavor into your jujitsu. And this is really the way rugby league is as well. In that center position, he's doing so many little things right. His attack will come. He will end up getting to the point where he can start, you know, doing a little bit flamboyant things on a football field. You know, the, the fan, he's got a beautiful flick pass in his repertoire. He's got all these things, but he just hasn't shown it because number one, I feel like the system's a lot bigger than that. And we don't really need a player to do a lot of that, honestly. But when it comes down to when he does need to do it, it will come time because he's done all the basics. He's done everything right. He'll trust in his ability and it'll end up happening. So really, really well done from Rocco Berry. And I love having that the squad, man. It's really great to have these type of players there. Shout out to Roger Tuovasashek, 200 games in this one, scoring a try. Absolutely incredible game from him in, in general as well. I still got through, what, I think 150, 160 meters, maybe even 170. Um, you know, a whole lot of tackle busts and stuff. Uh, chance, chance back at fullback. This is the whole thing, you know what I mean? This is why we have chance at fullback, you know, getting through his 260 meters. Incredible work. I love the work he does through Rock. He'll have have a couple of hit ups through one set. He'll go first tackle, then he'll go a third tackle. He loves that third tackle hit up and bring momentum through the ruck. And another like weapon that Wade Egan's using is like we could use Roger Tuovasashek through the middle, but we're using Chance through the middle as well. Uh, just some of the boys that we're running with, the, the, all these boys, we're playing as a unit and playing as a team. And I think the last thing I do want to touch on too, Tamadi. I, I touched on him a little bit to start this video on that, but incredible game from him. Like if you asked me before this game, would I rather CHT or Tamadi uh, to really take over? from Metcalf when Metcalf went down and that and I would have said CHT to be honest and egg all over my face I said this on full credit of the boys as well now that I look at that a little bit more and last season obviously we take into account what happened last season because Tamari uh, was amazing to start last season and then had the injury and then everything kind of went downhill from there now he's getting back into form and that he does look a lot of like, if you look at that Panthers mold, like that Jerome Luai type of mold, he's got a good running game. He's got a good passing game. Everything's so balanced with him that, you know, he was showing off his running game in this game, but he also has those moments where it's the one thing I love about Luai is when things aren't going on during the outside of his edge, he doesn't force passes to Jacko. He doesn't force passes out the back to Roger or whoever's going to be on that side who was Bompe in this game. He actually looks back inside. He likes to cut back inside. He can reset our plays by passing it back inside to Wado or Shawnee and resetting on the other side. And 
It just gives us an extra look. And I think that's the biggest thing about the Panthers is things don't work. They trust to go back inside, get a set lot and go again. And that's the whole thing is we, we keep chipping away. And if our game plan keeps going the way it is, Shawnee keeps putting up those deadly kicks just before the trial line. We keep getting there at the perfect moment, holding them down in those corners. We're going to do exactly what we did to the Rabbitohs in this game. Very much frustrate teams in the competition, uh, drain them a whole lot of energy, fatigue them. And then you got players like Wade Egg and Roger Tuovasashek, Chance Nickel Clockstack, D- Dallin Martin is a Lesniak when he comes back off injury. Um, Monty in itself as well. Even Rocco can get on the back of that and we could really be damaging through the middle of the ruck. Shawnee, Tomate was really showing that in this game as well. So I'm very, very excited for the season. And the last thing I kind of do want to touch on, as I kind of touched on to start this video on that is... How good is it to be a Warriors fan right now? We've got a club now that we've got a base and shout out to Cameron George and all the boys up top and all that because it does filter from the top. You know, they've set things into place amazingly. We got Webby now, Webby, our amazing coach. I love hearing him in press conferences, the way he talks, the way he, you know, just says that each game we're building on something. We focus focus on our own game and that's what really is going to uh, pay dividends later on in the season and we'll grow as a unit together. We've got New South Wales Cup team that performs pretty decently. I know we've lost a couple games this season and that, but you do see our game plan filter down through our grades. Our SG ball team has a very similar game plan through our grades and all that as well. And there's little things about Webby that, I absolutely adore and you go watch out in the press conference and that and um I know I can mispronounce a whole lot of people's names as well like uh Tomate is someone that I sometimes m- mispronounce yet as well but hearing Webby and that's a small little key and I think it's a respect thing and it's a major respect thing and I know with the Polynesian community and all that you know it's even just the Kiwi community and just in general you know we're all together in this but just the little things like that he pronounce he pronunciates his name so well like it just it's a little thing he does little things as coaches that just warms my heart and just like to add on top of that the the fan base we're growing at the moment we're selling out games like I'm pretty sure we nearly sold out if we not we have sold out this manly game coming up this season bro uh, hopefully it's just to continue on onwards and upwards there's content left right and center spider wild boys like um, you know, just, oh, bro, like it's an incredible season. Uh, it's only so early too. And I, I can see the building blocks of being something amazing. We got depth now, like in this game, we're missing a ton of boys and we're probably going to missing a couple more coming into the next game with Bunty out with a hamstring injury and that. Hopefully Walker is back after this next game and stuff and fills in a couple of spots here. But either way, I'm happy with the depth that we got. Jacob Laban had a debut tonight and he looked really, really nice off the bench as well. So um, I'm sure the boys will figure it out. Depth is on a different level this year. And I just want to hear your thoughts down below how good is it being a Warriors fan if you're not a Warriors fan like what's your thoughts overall in the club from the outside view do you see what we're seeing like you know what I mean like do you see what path we are taking and where we could end up later on comment down below your thoughts overall but thank you so much guys for checking into my channel and all that uh it's been a couple of videos now this week and I do appreciate that maybe I'm not as more consistent with my full view videos and all that if you haven't gone checked out my TikTok go check out my TikTok I'll probably post a little bit more on my TikTok as well But also my major thing I do want to push these days because I feel like Levon's put a massive opportunity into me uh, jumping onto Wars Up TV uh, to be sort of like a co-host and all that. I do want to be the Robin to his Batman and um, just, you know, create amazing content because I believe there's so much potential on that channel and we can grow into something really, really special and become like a maybe an Arsenal fan TV, you know, stuff like that. You know what I mean? I feel like we got a ways to go there. But comment down below your thoughts overall, guys. Appreciate everyone jumping into the channel today. And also, again... Go check out Wise Up TV. It will be in the description down below. Go give them a sub. Go like our last live stream video and all that. Uh, another one this weekend, Tuesday. Go check us out on Wise Up TV. All you can eat warriors, baby. That's how we do it. Let's go up the wires. Let's go.